baseball fans and welcome. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Kansas City Royals. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Postseason baseball, Singy, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching players coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Cole Reagans. What do you have on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Ready to go? And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. And a big swing and a miss. One, two, the count. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him two a little two. bit, just not able to square it up. And now the lefty. That Both one out. misses. And it's three and two. Got him. What out. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of rolling, and you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. And now it's Juan Soto. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Reagans One certainly has electric stuff, considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeout's a big part of his game. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes, and he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. Missed with a changeup. Full count now. So... When you look at that, she's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs, but she's so consistent that you look up. By the time she gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning, and there's one or two runs on the board at most. He handles it himself. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent. The way that a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Down in order, go to Yankees. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. here at Kauffman Stadium and starting in this one Carlos Rodon what do you got on him Chris it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the Let's same go. arm slot the same tunnel and that can third make baseman. life very difficult on his opponents now the third baseman number 11 swing and a miss chased it out of the zone one and two the count Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That's a base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. 
Next to hit, Vinny Pasquantino. In the air, out towards left center. Verdugo makes the catch. That is good. The catch. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And two, another two. ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in game five of this American League Division yeah. Series. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So one left for Kansas City. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Austin Wells. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The drama always heightened in the postseason, and it leads to some really special moments. Swing and a ball lifted left field. He's got it. One up, one down. Well, one special postseason memory for me, Boog, was facing Pedro Martinez, game five of the ALDS in Oakland. And man, hit a double off the wall. Great feeling for a guy who would eventually go into the Hall of Fame. Next offering way off the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That missed, that's Just ball. off the outside edge, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swinging. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Yanks held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Kansas City, here's Guriel. The first baseman, The pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. You know, there always seems to be that oh no moment for the pitcher when he's lost control of his pitch and most of the time it's right when he lets it go he knows that it's not headed where he intended it to go. Nobody out runner at first. Wouldn't chase that time. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Bro, and they got him. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Pop 
popped up to the left into foul ground. Feeling for the wall, makes the catch in foul ground. Batting seven, the designated hitter, Tommy. Here's Tommy Pham. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. That is strike two. And that just misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten. Oh, he gloves it. We'll move to the third with no score. the third inning and the batter will be the shortstop Anthony Volpe and a pitch oh that hit him safe at first and now after the play we'll check on the lefty status catcher coming out to check on him it looked like it got him on his back leg so you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Here's Alex Verdugo. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses oh. inside. Save at second, and that was not close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in game five. In the left center for a base hit. Volpe flying around third and headed home. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. John Birdie at the plate. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And a That's curve is down and in. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2 2 down. Full count. To the right side. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Glaber Torres up to hit. Falling behind two and one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. That one misses, and the count is three and one. You know, these Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Nabs it. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Juan Soto now. Soto reached 500 walks faster than anyone in baseball history. This guy is a once-in-a-generation type player. Swing and a miss. A 
as he was out front that time. Two on, one out. Line to right, base hit. Verdugo on his horse and around third. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runners at the corners here, one away. Stepping in the long ball threat, Aaron Judge. Lefty out of the stretch, runners two at first and, and third. And here it comes. Hard ground ball, base knock. In comes the run from third to add on. It's three zip. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So one out with two aboard. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Left-hand batter waits. Late with the swing there. One and two. And a pitch. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. One is fouled off. Soto at third. Judge at first. Two out of the inning. That one not close. And the count's even at two. And the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. Bounced up the middle. They get the force. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Yankees three, and the Royals nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, but to Renfro at the plate. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Rodon ready. Here comes. Renfro checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Hammer, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Here's Garrett Hampson. On the ground right side. Four, six, three. And they turn the double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Here's the third baseman.
The lefty fires. Inside almost got him. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. The pivotal game five of the division series. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Ground ball right side, Massey. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. That one to first. He'll do it himself. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Two outs, bases empty. And next for New York, Alex Verdugo. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Oh. And that's outside. And it's two and one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. towards left center field. That's well struck. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. And now the first baseman, John Birdie. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. One, two. Got it. And the inning is over. So one hit is all they get to the bottom of inning number four now. Yankees three and the Royals nothing. Fourth, here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt Jr. is a 1 1. That's out to center field. Judge is there. And there's one down. The left fielder, number nine, Vinny. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. pitch and he hits a ground ball right side and that's just foul one out base is empty Will's a two strike pitch and he'll see another foul ball left side he'll see another One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. 
Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Grinding A.B. right here. About to see pitch number 10. And down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One and two to count. On the ground. Collected by Torres. Tosses to first. And they get Perez for the out. Out number three. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And the pitch. In there at the knees. One and two. Activity in the bullpen. Brady Singer up and throwing. Lorenzen, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. And now it's one and two. And another ball. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. And it's even up. Two, two and two is the count. The other way, and he beats the shift. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Up next to the end. The center field. Aaron Judge. One down. Next to hit, Aaron Judge. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. There's a strike. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. Finish. This one in the air right field. Renfro getting an angle on it. He's got it. And that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Yankees three and the Royals nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Yuli Gurriel. That one down the line. Takes it himself. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. The Yanks leading by three. Last half of inning number five. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. 
Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Tommy Pham. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Royals bats are quiet there. They trail it here 3 0. Now a right handed arm out of the bullpen. Brady Singer. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. The right field. Giancarlo Stanton. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Not two close with that one. And that's ball two. Bullpen action for the Royals. Bobby Bouchang, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Renfro reaching back towards the wall. That's long gone. That one felt good. And they add a run. It's 4-0. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. 3-1. Not even close there. And the count is 3-1. and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. In time to Correa. Now one ball in the top of the sixth. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. One down, base is empty. And it is two and one. And that drops in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And the right hander deals. And another ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Two out spaces empty. Finish him. Another one, two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now a four-nothing ball game.
This is the American League Division Series on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Hunter Renfro. The 2 1. That's down and in. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And he deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all, all game. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Don sets and deals. Nice stop. Throws from his knees. There's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Rodon fires. And that's okay. down it away. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Volpe. The throw to second is off the line. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these players work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes at game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. So two on with two away. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. They're now two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hampson, the lead runner at second, with on at first with two down. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three-one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. That one the other way. Jazz tosses the first, and that is the inning. Royals strand a pair. They trail it here for nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Michael Lorenzen. Michael Lorenzen. And stepping in for the Yankees, John Birdie. The first baseman, number 19, John Birdie. And that one fouled off. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. 
Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here comes Glaber Torres. Ball to strike. Just no, missed. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. It's two and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And two away now. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off. Extend that at bat. Two outs. Bases empty. Here's Juan Soto. Two outs. Big stock center field. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. So two down, Aaron Judge at the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Thank you. Kicks and fires. Oh, great stop from his backside. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Great job of hitting that moving target. They're going to be fired up in the dugout. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. A wind in the pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield, under it. And there's one away. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And Gurriel is out. And a couple of quick outs. Now back, second baseman. Michael, Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. The Royals down by four here in the late stages of game five. Next That's offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Two one. And that one off the outside edge. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to... And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. KC down in order. They're down 4 nothing. in the game for the Royals Bobby Boucher and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up I think it's a good move I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me Austin Wells digs in now the captain number 28 Austin Wells left-hand hitter waits two and one That yeah. one finds the corner. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground, right side. 
slings to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. John Schreiber appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Long, also throwing. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Did one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. And up next for New York, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Man at second. Right side, hard hit. And he handles it himself for the out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now, Anthony Volpe. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two outs with a runner at third. Just no, missed. missed. That's the ball. 3-1. Late on that fastball. Helpful. And now the lefty. That's to third. Slides for the stop. Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. The Yanks lead one. They lead four nothing. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Tommy Canely and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking his hitters and now Tommy fan is a 1 1 slider misses outside pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there started on the edge of the plate with the spin you know it's going to finish well off the plate and the righty deals. On the ground to third. Chisholm. Slings it across. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The right fielder, number 16. Hunter. Renfro. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Righty delivers. Foul ball. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And oh. another ball. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The pitch. And that's oh. outside. Bounce to the left side. Jazz tosses the first. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number two. Garrett Hampson. Two outs, space is empty. Garrett Hampson steps in for the Royals. Two down, nobody on. Yeah. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Royals. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. 
We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, John Shriver. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Alex Verdugo. At the belt and fires. Inside just missed. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking his own and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Right-handed reliever. And they'll do it again. 2-2 now. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. So digging in, John Birdie. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. So the batting order turns over. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Next Ball. offering is outside. Two balls, one strike. On the ground to the left. Oh, and foul ball. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That one way outside. Three and two now. Juan Soto on deck for the Yankees. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That one 95 to finish him off. Nothing doing for the offense that time. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order do up. The Yankees four and the Royals nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the third baseman. For the Royals, the third baseman, Mike Garcia. And a pitch. That misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Judge getting an angle on it. And there's one away. Now Bobby, Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Swing and a miss as he was late. Yeah, we go beyond just the uh, you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Shortstop oh, takes the ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. 
Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, Vinny Pasquantino. The Royals down by four here in the last half of inning number nine. And Two another points. ball. Throw to first, nope, and he's back it. in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And a 2-1 on the way. Ball, that's good. Foul ball there. Outside, and that ball is ball four. four. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Julio Castro on a pitch out of the pen here. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. So first and second with one man gone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez. Two on, one out. On the ground, a short could be two. Over to Torres. The double play ends it right here. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs.